Admin abuse is a rare occurrence to see on Sim PvP, with most admins being semi-active and not really interactive with the community nowadays. But throughout late 2011 and 2012, it would seem some things got left unnoticed. In this video, I'll be discussing the various anomalies found within Sim PvP's 10 year old map and how they relate to being admin made. This is also the first time I've ever made a video like this, so please let me know if you enjoy this type of content by leaving a like. During late 2011 and throughout 2012, there were many admins who replaced others, possibly due to inactivity. The main admins we'll be talking about today are BoxyLiz, Extia, and Mate 90 Although the early years of Sim PvP were mostly calm, things were happening in the background of it all. Around this time, a base named The Hive was being built by Boxy Liz and Little Box of Ema, which had also been connected to Kashyyyk, which was being built by Rev Sorting Pot. It was a huge underground dome built with a honeycomb pattern, but something was odd about the space. Inside the underground dome, there is flat bedrock covering the entirety of the floor and several bedrock holes. It is clear that this was caused by an admin, and specifically leads to Boxy Liz as the prime suspect. Although I do not know who found this place first, I was able to get into contact with Lord Pasta, a long time player on Sim PvP who is very knowledgeable when it comes to old bases. He had made a video of him exploring the hive, and gladly gave me permission to use it in this video. So I'm going to try and get more of these sim pvp videos made. I'm not really doing that much, but I might switch back to doing live streams on sim again. It's uncertain whether this was one of the first cases of admin abuse, but we have to remember that this was 2012. Not many people cared whether admins overused their permissions or not. Damocles was built by Boxy Liz and Rev Stoning Pot. After they became tied with the life in the hive, it was a giant floating city with a mob grinder at its core, an auto farm level, a village level, and a castle on top. Old teammates Egg Thief and Aldo were joined later, and this was around the time Boxy Liz would disappear. What's interesting about this base is on the nether side. Within the nether side of Damocles, there was nether water spawned in by Boxy Liz and World Ended Spheres also spawned in by them. Myself and a few friends had come to check out this place and even moved the nether water to another location. Skullogia had even punched a hole in the bedrock roof, revealing a world ended sphere poking out from the top. The majority of the server all came together around late 2020 to create another water base using the water from Damocles, and it was a fun time. The bedrock bathtub is exactly what it sounds like, and it's located near spawn. It's hard to guess which admin would have done this, as it wasn't linked to any bases, but we can safely suggest that it was sometime during 2012, and not player made. A player by the name of 39Y had discovered this by using a hack client, which isn't allowed on some PvP, and he was promptly banned later on, but it makes you think of what other anomalies can be found just lying around spawn. The Volcano is a large and finished building created in the overworld with map editing tools. Sometime during 2011 and 2012, it was made by the admins while the border was up, and then forgot of. After the world border was removed, players discovered it. It has been decided not to remove it as it contains no valuable materials and is kind of a neat landmark. What's crazy about this place is that underneath it all at bedrock, there's a massive flat area with a hole going into the void which you can actually fly under. Also, if you want to know why there was a border, I recommend you check out Lord Pasta's video on the subject as he goes into detail of why the admins debated over a world border being expanded and stuff. But unfortunately, that's all I have for you today. Whilst editing this now, I've realised that I didn't mention XTR in mid-90. The reason for this is because no one knows who actually did these things after Damocles. Therefore, it's hard to judge, so I had to pick another two admins apart from Boxulars that were around during that era. I'd like to thank all the people on screen currently for the information for this video. Without them, this wouldn't be possible. 